winning uh, four-year-old stallion takes the premium. That is uh, Kumara has desperate Dan. My mascot. Shire horses are magnificent animals and quite rightly thought of as epitomising the history of British agriculture and commerce prior to the arrival of steam and then petrol engine vehicles. They would have been seen every day in their hundreds of thousands performing all manner of tasks across the land. But the modern shire horse is seen as much more than just a reminder of our past. It is a breed of horse that still has a very strong place in the 21st century. They can still be found being used in agriculture and not just in the traditional way either. and increasingly also in forestry. They can still provide the pulling power for light haulage tasks. And in another return to the past, there is also a growing place for shires at weddings. But like all things that we value, either personally or as a nation, if just ignored, they will disappear. And this was realised as long ago as 1878, when the Shire Horse Society was established, with the aim of not only celebrating the Shire and generally watching over the breed, but also managing the control and maintenance of the bloodline, ensuring that only the very best animals are used to proliferate the breed. That remains the society's main aims today, and that is reflected in the yearly on such as organising events centrally and in the regions. To managing the qualification of stallions and mares. As the Shire was facing a great decline in numbers and their very existence was coming under threat, in 2011 it was the Society that started the Save Our Shires campaign to bring to the attention of all that this breed, part of our national heritage, was in decline and therefore at risk. Although that risk is still present, because of the publicity generated by the campaign there has been a marked increase in awareness of the situation among the general public and the population of shires is on the increase. So who and what is the Shire Horse Society and what does it provide? To get an answer to that and other questions, we spoke to David Rally Davis. He started the Save Our Shires campaign and as the Society's Secretary is responsible for much of the day-to-day -day activity throughout the year. 
Okay, Graham, I'm David Raleigh Davis. I am the secretary of the Shire Horse Society, um, and I'm the person who has to pull it all together with the office to make sure that we do what we're supposed to do. Okay, the society was formed back in 1878, and they set their articles of association out at the time, essentially, in summary, to protect and promote the breed and maintain a stud book, which is what we've done ever since. For some 50 years, that was undertaken from a headquarters at the East of England Agricultural Showground in Peterborough, which was also where the major shy horse shows and events took place. But there has been a recent move to a new location on the Rockingham Castle estate. A great place to be based. But why the move? Um, it's fair to say history repeats itself and it has for the Shire Horse Society. About 50 years ago, they were forced into a situation when things were really quite bleak, that they needed to move out of London and, and really decide quite, take, so take some quite hard decisions about where the society wants to go. Um, they'd run out of money and they ended up heading over to the East of England Agricultural Society at Peterborough. Now, they did a fantastic job getting some foundations laid and building the society back up to you know, where we are today. The next stage of that development is really starting from Rockingham now and, and treating this as the next stage for the society's future and building on the foundations we've already got in place and bettering those. We were very fortunate enough at the time um, a couple of years now to have the opportunity to move into some purpose-built premises, which is where we are now. Um, we'd undertaken a root and branch review of the society's affairs and where we were heading and what we wanted to do for the future and concluded that you know, we wanted to be really um, our own organisation, independent and really start to raise some awareness with the general public as to what the society is all about and more important where we're going for the future. We're, we're Shire Farm, Rockingham Castle and Park, and as I say, these were purpose-built premises for us, and uh, we find it a very good place to work, fantastic location. We have many visitors come to the castle in any event, and we're just hoping that our facilities will also add to the attraction that's already at the castle. We've held our own open days here now. Uh, we had one a couple of months ago, uh, purely aimed at those that really didn't know what the Shire Horse has done through history. Um, we had a demonstration throughout the day of all the various aspects of Shire Horse work and I mean, we were full to, full to bursting with people coming through the gate. So we're really pleased at how successful that was. We've managed to really settle down and see what we need to do to take the society forward. Um, going back to the point about wanting to raise awareness, we know that we've got the facilities now to do that. As I said, we've had our own open day already and that's helped to really start the ball rolling with our own organised events for the society to really push that sort of boat out that we are here and we've got a long future ahead of us. So, make a visit to Shire Farm headquarters. And if you have never been to Rockingham Castle, it is time that you did. This majestic castle, built on the orders of William the Conqueror, looks out across this part of Leicestershire, where it provides not just a great visitor attraction with everything you would expect from an historic building like this, but remains the home of the Saunders Watson family, which it has been for the past 450 years. One of the major events organised by the Society is the world's largest gathering of shire horses, which is organised every spring, and for the past five decades that has been at the Peterborough Showground. But as part of the relocation of the Society's Centre to Rockingham, the event was held at the Arena UK, a purpose-built equestrian centre just outside Grantham in Lincolnshire. So, what is planned for 2015? To hear about that, we spoke to Chairman of the Society's Show Committee and Member of the Ruling Council, John Peacock. Well, it's a little of the new and quite a lot of the old. Um, it's still held in the spring. It's still the National Shire Horse Show. We've moved to a new venue after 50 years in one place. It's a very exciting period and we're looking forward, working towards a super show which is truly international. The show now is exciting, but it is for only for pedigree shires. 
Uh, we have tried other things in the future of types, but it's now the, the largest pedigree shire show in the world, anywhere in the world. And we have all sorts of things looking forward. The show obviously is our main thing, but we've had a very successful open day and there'll be more of those. Hands on days for exhibitors, we've got one of those planned for early in the new year and they will be repeated throughout the country. Judges, seminars are being held. Really, if you're really in doubt about it, if you pick the foot up, you'll find that it will then move. Uh, if it turns into bone, that's the condition of side bone. So lots of exciting things are going on and there's things going on for our normal members, for exhibitors throughout. And of course, we have these lovely offices now and running our own affairs. So, not just a move to a new location, but a refreshed approach to how the society supports the entire Shire community. But what else can the membership expect from the team at Shire Farm Rockingham? Um, and another thing that we've done and started this year is actually introduce Shire Horse Society approved centres. Um, earlier in the year we had two centres appointed and we've just managed to sign up our third approved centre. And they're designed to be places where people can go and learn a little bit about the history of the Shire Horse, a little bit about the history of the Shire Horse Society, but also see other things that are going on as a sort of an attraction as well. And we're hoping to develop those centres to sort of four or five as we move forward. And they're geographically placed so that you know, there's a fair spread amongst the country to really, again, go back to raising the awareness of the society and what it does. We see a number of the sponsors at the main shows. Apart from taking part and enjoying themselves, what are the benefits in becoming a sponsor to the society? Aside from the benefits of you know, attending the shows and the publicity that we can give by the various shows that we're connected with, such as all the major national shows, county shows, there's a link back to heritage. And we've pinpointed two or three larger companies in the last couple of years that can trace their roots back through the heritage to in some way a connection with the Shire Horse, be it a transport industry, a, a grocery business, a brewing business. At some point in time, the Shire Horse as a breed will have helped that industry along. And I think all we're asking for now is let's have some thought towards can they help us again moving forward into the future by supporting the society and, and joining forces with us so that we can maintain the society as a breed society um, for the benefit of others. Communication about the society and what it does is vital. So what is happening on that front? Okay, one of our big changes we've just introduced recently um, is our brand new website. And it's taken a long time to get where we are now, but we've got a website that's designed to be easy for the end user to, to operate and get through, and also for us within the office. You can now buy tickets online for any of our events. Uh, we've got a calendar of events throughout the year for all other shows and organisations with regard to Shire Horses. And um, you can view what's for sale on the website, but also you can buy merchandise now. You can buy it directly from the merchandise, order it, and we'll process the order from the office um, pretty much straight away. So as it has done for the past 137 years, the Society continues to support and promote the Shire Horse. But with a refreshed approach and a new main headquarters location, expect more new ideas and initiatives from the team at Shire Farm, ensuring that in the second decade of the 21st century, as a breed, the Shire continues to go from strength to strength. Make sure you check back here for an update following the national show in March.